Welcome to the NBA desktop. Yo, this Drake vs. Kendrick collab is, oh, it's Kendrick Perkins. Hold on. <laughs> so, the Raptors choked again? No. I just want to say one thing before we watch this. I don't want to ever hear anything from any Raptors fans, ever. Win a f***ing game at home that you should win. That's all. Here's Drake. Believe that! I mean, listen, Perkins is washed. But he's 6'9", and Drake is a rapper. I mean, like, Perkins would destroy him. That's fine. Back up, my dude. Yo, fans be mad because it's the playoffs, but can we just give our players some space? Here's uh, some dude. why he shoved his camera into uh, James Harden's face and called him the worst flopper in the NBA, Chris Ryan. Chris, what do you have? Imagine getting to the absolute upper echelon of your profession. I'm talking like the 99.9% yes. .9 percentile, an endeavor that most people only dream about. You're probably the most complete offensive player and you get to the very pinnacle of your career. You get to the biggest stage. Yes. What do you do? You try to get Dante Exum in foul trouble because you're a flopping Buster, this is why the 2007 housing market crashed. Because guys who had enough money needed to be the masters of the universe. You're already the best offensive player. Play the game straight. Don't go hunting for fouls, you flopping coward. And you owe me a phone. Thank you, Chris. Rondo x Draymond. Ooh, two guys who ain't gonna back down. Chatter between Rajon Rondo and ha -ha. Draymond. Ha ha ha. Who? I just want somebody to punch him in the face. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I just want somebody to punch him in the face. What? Somebody to punch him in the face. What? Punch him in the face. What do you want him to do? Somebody to punch him in the face. What would you do? To punch him in the face. What? Somebody to punch him in the face. Draymond was asked about this after the game. If you feel that strong, anybody to punch me in my face when you see me. Woo! I get high. Ooh, James Harden has a dunk celebration. He's been doing it all year. Now when he dunks, he acts like he has a nosebleed. Now there's several interpretations of this. He gets so high that he hits his head on the rim and he gets a nosebleed. Or he does mounds of cocaine. And now I'd like to welcome a good friend, Ariana Lonarski. What's up? Comedian, musician. She recently put the names of all 30 teams into a hat, picked it out and became a Denver Nuggets fan. And also has some views on a witch that was hired by the Denver Nuggets. Tell us about Roberta the Witch. It's actually Robata. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Nuggets hired a witch to curse the Indiana Pacers in Game 5 of the 1975 uh, Western Division Finals at the ABA. Uh, it backfired on them. The Pacers, like, won significantly. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Robota the Golden Witch of the West. Oh my god. And so now I really am on a witch hunt to find her, for real. Robota, wherever you are on any plane of existence, whether in this realm or the next, yes. please get in touch with Ariana. She'd like to find you. Ariana, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Summer break, mama, I made it! Yo, Pat Beverly's mom won 41 stacks Woo! on the Price is Right, and she still got that athleticism! Yes! Yeah! And Pat Beverly, Mama One Price is Right is lit. lit. Let me hold one of those cars, Mama. That's, that's fing sweet. You also like Pat, are you not breaking your mama off enough money? I'm just saying, why does your mama need to wind a car on a game show? And now, with some Sixers Celtic spice. Stan Pfeiffer, Pod Save America. Dan, how are you feeling about the series right now? I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. So that's like Philly fandom. Cockiness followed by tremendous gut-wrenching anxiety. Now what's it like dealing with Celtics fans in close proximity to yourself as this series is going on? We recorded Pod Save America this morning and when I called in, our producer answered the call by telling me, go Celtics. And then we ended the podcast with John Favreau and I telling each other to off because I ended it by saying, go Sixers. So things are going swimmingly. And then, do you think you can, uh, can you forward this to, uh, to Obama? Just like get it into his hands and see if he can watch it? I don't know. Yes. It worked for Shea Serrano, so we can do it for NBA <laughs> desktop too. <laughs> oh God, all right. Thank you so much, Dan. Awesome. Fade blocks. Bledsoe is better than Brady. Here is Terry Three Sticks walking in with the Drew Bledsoe jersey, a reference to his recent beef with the other Bledsoe not named Drew who plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. 
Uh, you bless all. Let me just say one thing. That's it, now you're done. You got the last word? No more, petty man. Donovan Mitchell's tweet when Boston fans were chanting not a rookie at Ben Simmons. First of all. <laughs> Teach Jason Tatum to fucking carry his mom's bags. How about that? Whoa! Yo, this is why they lost. I block it. Spice Roulette! We asked fans to send us their spice and they complied. Now let's go to the Spice Roulette. Sorry Canada, Cavs in four. And he sounds Canadian. Sorry. Is this a Honda element? Next. Charles Barkley and Draymond Green, their cute little dispute must be settled. And I believe that WrestleMania 2019 is the answer for that. Ah! That's a good idea. Here's my Utah Jazz spice. We're looking to take this series a game at a time. We're of course we gotta take it a game at a time. You know why? Because that's how time works. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play all the games at once. We're gonna play seven games simultaneously. The Warriors watched game two absolutely terrifying. There is no team they fear more than the nightlife. Woo! That's a solid whisper take. Kevin loves hate. What is the background of this picture there? What is that? Poster for Mother. Let me just say the only thing that makes sense is he's like the DP on Mother. <laughs> Drake is killing Toronto. They need him out of there. Knicks, please do not hire Mark Jackson. <laughs> You're not even